Well, hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Brian, and what in the heck is this thing? Well, this thing is a window donut. Never heard of one before in my life. Thanks to Mike, uh, who sent a comment in telling me about these things that I had no idea even existed. And I'm going to show you guys what this thing is and why I bought it. But to get it out of the way, it is called the Truck Boot All Weather Pass Through Window Seal. And this is the model 30,000. It's uh, 24 inches by 16 inches. They make this donut in a smaller size, 20,000, and that is 20 inches by 13 inches. And that's for your mid-sized trucks. And basically what this thing is, is a seal that goes in between your camper shell and the back window of your actual truck. So once you open up your camper window, once you slide that open, you can, if you have a sliding rear window in your truck, you can slide that open also, and you can have a pass through between the cab of your truck and your camper. Well, that three inch gap in between is open. I mean, the rain will come in, bugs will come in, you name it. This thing is made apparently to kind of fit in between the camper of your truck and the cab of your truck, and you fit it into place apparently, and you blow it up and it creates a seal on the outside of both of your windows so you can effectively seal off the outside environment. That's the goal at least. And the reason I'm doing this guys is because I don't know if you saw my first video of the review of this Zero Breeze Mark II. I placed it through my windows and had the front of this unit inside my camper and the back half of this unit was inside my truck and all the, the tubing and ducts were going out the, the window. It worked really well. It got down to around 72 degrees during my test here at home. When I took this out on my on the first camping trip, I kind of had a different setup. And to be honest, I don't think this was quite as efficient the way that I set it up on my camping trip. I had this whole unit inside my truck cab. I had all the ducting routed to the window and I had the cold air exhaust going up and through my pass-through window into my camper shell. It cooled it down to around 75 to 78 degrees, but again, I don't think it was as efficient as at how I did it during my test. So I started thinking, and thanks to Mike who sent a comment about this thing, I think I wanna go back that route. I wanna place this unit through my windows, through my pass-through windows, because I think that's gonna be, that's gonna give me the coldest amount of air, because on these zero breezes, you've got two intakes. You've got an intake on the front and then of course you have your your big huge four inch intake on the back. I'm still confused as to why Zero Breeze wants you to intake hot air to cool down. To me that just doesn't make sense. It's kind of like recir hitting the recirculating button on your air conditioner in your car. It gets colder because it's just recirculating that colder air. Per Zero Breeze, I contacted them. They sent me an email back and they recommend that that four inch intake duct be ducted to the outside to intake the outside environment air. I don't get it. I don't know why that is. To me, that doesn't make sense. It's not logical, but I don't know the internals of this and I'm not a air conditioning expert. There is an intake on the front though. So I'm thinking the reason that this thing worked better when I tested it out the first time when I had it through my cab was I was intaking some of that cooler air that this was spitting out in my cab. So I was getting colder air sucked in through the front, but I was still getting the outside air being sucked in through that four inch duct that was ducted out my window. I think this helped. A little bit and I and it did cool my, my cab down more and even during my test my truck was sitting out in the Sun at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon hottest part of the day and it cooled it down more than when I ran this thing on my camping trip where I was parked under the shade and this thing was this whole unit was actually inside my truck so I'm thinking that the way that I had it during the test was best so all that aside Long story short, that's why I bought this. I'm gonna see if putting this in between my camper shell and the back glass of my truck bed will create an environmental seal and I can push this thing through both windows, have this inside my camper shell, turn it on, and it's gonna cool it down even more. I'm gonna take you guys into the back of my camper. I'm gonna show you how, at least I think this needs to be installed, but you can see it's literally, they call it a donut, and it's just an, an inflatable mini raft, basically, that, that, that goes in there. And it comes with a little tube that you can stick in here to help you blow it up. Because obviously, once this is installed in between my camper and my back glass, I can't get to where you blow it up. So I'm guessing that's what this is for, to stick it in the hole and start blowing. Oh boy. <sighs> Moving on, let's do that. And let's run a test and see if, if, if my theory is actually gonna help cool my camper down more running it this way. Okay, gang, welcome back to uh, the hottest place on earth. So 
I'm gonna try to make, sorry, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can because it's about 800,000 degrees in here. And the directions say to inflate this thing partially and it's gonna have to be really partial because I only have about two inches of space in between this glass and my truck window. So I'm gonna let some of this air out now and see if I uh, probably need more air, air out than that. I don't know about this. <laughs> Maybe more air needs to come out. You know what? I'm a complete idiot. My God. Well, this should make it just a smidge easier. I think this is too big. Stay. Okay, well, a lot of blowing later. It's not the most beautiful, but I think it's gonna at least seal off the environmental air and rain and stuff from getting in between the cab and the glass of my truck bed. We'll see how this works. Uh, I'll put the air conditioning unit up here and give it a little test today too and see if it cools this camper down a little bit more than it did on my last camping trip. Don't know it was a bad idea. I don't think I like this solution. I can see it from the inside, it bugs me, and it squeaks. It, it kind of, you know, it's squeaky because it's rubbing up against both panes of glass. So, as you saw, I just bought some of this pipe insulation that I'm gonna use instead. Probably not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna keep out most of the bugs. But I just don't think this is gonna work. It's already kind of losing its losing its uh, inflatability. So what I'm hoping is gonna work is this. I'm just gonna squeeze it in, hopefully. But I think I like this option more. It looks cleaner to me, and I think it might actually provide a little bit better seal because this is tight up around here. So we'll see how it goes. And I think it's going to actually help the efficiency of that zero breeze. So I think I'm going to give that thing a go tonight and uh, see how it works out. And I'll give you guys the results of that. So let's see how this works in place of this thing. And again, this was 30 bucks. This insulation tubing was $4.20 for two pieces of it. So <laughs> we'll see. Cool. So right now inside this hellacious pit, 108 degrees. So I would get that without a glare. 108. So this thing's got some work to do. And again, I'm thinking this is gonna be more efficient, I'm hoping, because it's gonna be pulling in some of the cooler air from the front instead of how I had this when I went camping last time in the cab of my truck with the windows basically closed. So it was kind of like a little hot box for it in there. So I think that's going to be hard for any air conditioner to keep up with that. So I'm hoping this is going to be a good solution. I'm going to let this run. It is 5.15 p.m. I'll come back out and check later. I think probably when I do take this out camping, I will still use some type of blanket or sheet and just kind of wrap it around some of these cracks that are in the windows. Yeah, so I'm going to close this window and come check in a few hours, see where we stand. Okay, ladies and gents, that's pretty much going to wrap up my little test today. And I think I have determined that this is the best solution. 
it's 9 45 ish uh, i didn't i wasn't planning on testing this thing all night long that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to figure out if putting it up here in this window unit would actually cool this cab down more than the way that i had it when i went camping the first time and i think it does if you remember i started out at about 108 degrees inside this thing and it is now it was 74 when i got in it's up to 75 now but i think that was due to you know me opening it up the back and unfortunately all that cold air got sucked out but that's that's a huge temperature drop in about three to four hours i'll put a little graph up here right now and you can see where i started out at and slowly worked my way down to where i'm at now being around 75 degrees so you can see how much this temperature dropped when i went camping it wasn't near that hot it was hot but it wasn't above 100 degrees and i only got to around 76 to 77 degrees inside here and i was under the shade here i was in full sun over well over 100 degrees and it's down to 75 degrees right now so i think my theory works that at least having this intake in the front in inside this this cabin is helping the efficiency of this thing because it's pulling in some of this cooler air and helping it that's my theory i don't know if it's right but in my highly unscientific test it seems to work better than how i had it when i went camping the first time so with that guys i got a trip tuesday and it's supposed to be 104 degrees so this thing is going to be running uh, it's it's going to get a workout tuesday night and i'm hoping to get this area down to even 80 degrees would feel good in that in that temperature but i mean that's just going to be during the day um at night it's a little bit different but i can tell you guys when i came in here tonight to to finish this video it's night and day difference coming from outside to inside the humidity is lower the humidity, the humidity in here is 55 percent but it's about 65 70 percent outside so it is a lot lower in here and it just feels better it's it, it's sleepable in here so um again thanks for watching guys this wasn't a review again on the zero breeze i wanted to do a comparison of how i used this on the last trip versus having the unit up here and i think this is the better option so i'm going to leave it at that guys this option i think is better for my setup i don't know if it's what zero breeze would recommend or what any of you other folks would recommend i have gotten a lot of comments saying we'll put the intake the big four inch intake in here as well i cannot get that four inch intake in this camper it doesn't fit through here and if i did it would have a huge 90 degree bend in that duct which is inefficient that would hurt his performance i can't put this entire unit in here i don't have enough room so i'm really limited to either having the air conditioning unit right here or actually inside my truck sitting on my seat like i did on the last camping trip which i don't think worked as well so i do think it would work better if that four inch intake duct was in here somehow i just don't have a way to route it in here so folks that's that's kind of my review 2.0 on this i think i found a better solution for next week when i take this thing out and uh it's gonna be hot and i'm gonna need all the help i can get from this unit so guys with that thanks for watching and we'll see you soon take care